put in the third trench. Bit of a digging frenzy, isn't it? <laughs> well, not really, Tony. This is an incredibly busy landscape. But how do we know that's prehistoric? Couldn't that come from any period? If it was just the individual stone, yes, perhaps it could be. But in this case, we've got an arrangement of stones, two parallel lines, and that is, broadly speaking, only ever found in late Neolithic, early Bronze Age monuments. How, how do you know? I can't see anything at all. Well, you can't, unfortunately, because only one or two have survived above ground. What do you think this is all about? Well, you know that big mound? Yeah. Well, I think it's got a sort of tail coming down in this direction and then heading off over there. And I think that would have formed a big, dry ridge. Maybe, you know, they had ceremonial processions. And then, as part of marking out this processional way, they put a big setting of, of double stones. So it could just be a nice little path, but it could be ritual. I think it's ritual, Tony. Ritual, I've heard that one before, but I'll go along with Francis's theory for the time being. Some important clues could be on the mound. Flint was found here during the initial survey, and today it's attracted our flint-obsessed anoraks like moths to a flame. The only trouble is, it could completely rewrite the history of this Bronze Age site, as Phil's found something that dates much earlier. It's this gorgeous little endscrape. You can see the way it's been retouched so lovingly all the way around there. Now, that is the work of a skilled craftsman, somebody who really loved his work. Can you put a date on it? They are difficult to, to date in isolation. We really could do with some more of this flint work. But my initial instinct is to think this is early. And when I say early, I think it's earlier than these stone monuments. That's really exciting, isn't it? Because that means you've got this early mound here with some sort of activity going on. And then later, people have built this path up to it. Absolutely. I think that this mound is the focus. This is what drew people in originally. And then that these stone monuments were drawn in around them. Look at you clutching your straight. I know, it's lovely though, isn't it? You're like a kid in a sweet shop, I know, I know, I know. But you see, I've made so many of these things. This takes me back to the real people who, who made these things. <laughs> Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.